anybody? Are y'all sick of me yet? Okay, I think I heard no, so I'm gonna keep going. Today, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit. Mano e mano. And I want to address some questions that I've been getting at the salon this week. So this kick starts off my question and answer session. It's not, it's not even a question. Education, information, light bulb moment sessions with you all because I am scratching dandruff online, but I'm a hairstylist first. So I've got a lot of great information about hairstyling. And I just kind of want to debunk a couple of the, the things that a lot of men ask me about their daughters. And then a lot of the daughters are asking me because they just don't understand. So today what we're going to talk about is how can my hair grow if I get my ends trimmed? To them, it makes no sense how cutting the tips of your hair off is gonna help your hair grow. They see the complete opposite. I'm here to explain to you how I see it, okay? And I'm gonna use a piece of paper in my demonstration. So let's just say you've just gotten your hair trimmed, right? And it looks great. This is your hair. And it grows and 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 grows. It gets longer and longer and longer. Well, with time, damage, stress, fingering, peeling on it, curling irons. And with my hair natural, a lot of times I just sit here and do this little number and it pop pops right off. So if I straighten my hair, girl, it's gonna be all kind of jagged edges. So that's what happens after time, especially with little kids that are relaxer free, you know, just with combing and detangling, sometimes those little ends snip off, right? So then you end up with something like this. I'm trying to cut a straight line. And it's not cutting a straight line. And it's line. not gonna cut a straight line because when you raw cut something, it just cuts any kind of way it wants to cut itself. When your ends break off naturally, they're not gonna break off in a straight line. They're gonna break off all whichever kind of way, honey, they feel like just, just like this paper. This is your hair. And you come in and you're trying to figure out why your hair is breaking off, right? Or why it won't hold a curl. You have all these flyaways. Why is it um, going left when you tell it to go right? So your hair is breaking off. It's growing because you got a color. So you see your new growth coming in, but your hair isn't getting any longer. And you're trying to figure out why, and you don't want your ends trimmed. This is the science behind that. Once your hair is cut like this, it's gonna keep cutting. It's gonna keep cutting. Keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting. As it grows, it's just gonna continue to cut and get more and more jagged, and it's just gonna keep on cutting off, so you're not gonna experience any real hair so growth. By trimming your ends, you're gonna trim your ends, and now, when the hair grows out of your scalp, it's not jagged anymore. So it's gonna actually continue to grow without breaking off. And that's how a trim is gonna allow your hair to grow. It's gonna grow from your scalp anyway. Everybody's hair, everybody's hair grows an average of a half an inch to an inch a month. Some people more, some people less. But average, it's half an inch to an inch a month across the board. Now, factors do play into that based on what are you eating, your sleep, your digestion, just kind of like the way you live your life determines how your body systems function. Your hair is growing the whole time, but the fact that your ends are raggedy and jagged, it's always constantly snipping off. You're never gonna experience hair growth. So sorry, dad. I know you don't wanna hear this, but you're gonna have to let your daughter get her hair trimmed if you love her long hair. If not, she's just gonna have a whole lot of raggedy hair on her head and she's not gonna be able to do anything with it. So I wanna talk to you today about sulfate-free shampoos, sulfate shampoos, 